Uh, this is today's haul. This comic shit is getting out of hand. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, Doom143 and we are here with another huge haul, oh, like seriously, it's a huge haul. Um, and yeah, we're just literally going to dive right into this haul. Uh, if you're not into big hauls, this is probably not the video for you. If you got some time, you know, awesome, uh, grab a beer, whatever it is you need to grab and let's go look at some comics. I got to meet up with Seeking Near Mint Comics and uh, Spidey Fan uh, last night. There was a trade, a uh, trade show, and in 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 the actual literal sense, a trade show at a comic shop. So basically, the rule was you could bring up to two. I think it was two short boxes, and it'd just be a trade night. So just a bunch of guys that you know we commonly see at. Um, any type of events they basically brought some books down you could do some trades and uh, if not you could also buy and sell seeking near mints and myself we got in at about six o'clock and straight out the boat like I think it was like only an hour in maybe yeah just about an hour in people were just going through our stuff like crazy and nobody was trading everybody was just giving us cash so um, I know seeking near mints got rid of like a whole short box I think he may have traded a couple CGC's not too sure um, I had one guy that just basically took care of what would equal out to be about a short box and I had some other guys buying it was pretty crazy um, I was hoping to do some trades with some people ended up being more of a vendor <laughs> so I'm not gonna tell you how much I sold but let's just say there was a comma in the number um, all right so yeah, Seeking Near Mids hooked me up with some books. This is about a week ago. The Venom 151 Mary Jane variant. Thank you so much. Beautiful cover. Matina kills it all the time. Uh, he was he hooked me up with this one. This uh, Masumi. Uh, I think this is number two. This is Grim Fairy Tales. This is exclusive to um, I think it was like 500. The print run on this one is really small and um, it, it's I mean Zenoscope they always do really good stuff this is obviously a Comic Con exclusive and um, yeah I cannot thank uh, Seeking Near Mints enough this great cover totally looks like a Seeking Near Mints cover um, I was, he also hooked me up with this uh, Edge of Venomverse really happy to have this I think I ordered four copies of this but I will gladly take another one but it hasn't come in yet from uh, Comic Exposures because Comic Exposure sucks. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But yeah, Edge of Veniverse, another beautiful Matina cover. But this is the one that hooked me up with that I was super excited about. Wonder Woman 25. Um, yeah, just so happy to have this in my collection. I actually uh, hit up a lot of my friends and I was uh, like, hey, if you can find this, please let me know. Um, I need a copy. I need a copy ASAP. Um, Seeking Near Mist was the only one that could actually uh, find a copy for me. So I was very, very stoked when uh, he told me he found a copy. I did a trade for him. And uh, yeah, super. This prison cover is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Love this. The eyes, the hairs, everything. The rope. Gorgeous cover. Uh, and then, like I said, I met up with Spidey Fan. Got my wife this book, Gardens of Nowhere, number three. This is the uh, variant edition. Um, then he got me the uh, Justice League of America, really sick David Mack cover. Uh, Spidey Fan knows I'm a huge David Mack fan. Hooked me up with this. Uh, he also gave me another awesome. David Mack. This is Defenders number one. The David Mack variant. I didn't have any of these books, so I'm really stoked to have all of them. 
Uh, he gave me some Bronze Age stuff too. This was actually pretty cool. Or actually, yeah. Uh, so first appearance of Monarch Star Stalker. This is uh, Marvel Premieres 32, which I thought was pretty cool. I mean, I, I, shit. You, if you can find beautiful Bronze Age books for a good price, why not, man? So totally, totally happy with that one. He also gave me 33. Mark of Cain. I think this is Cain's first solo story. Pretty awesome. Uh, 33, 34. And he also gave me 35, which is first appearance of the 3D Man. So that this cover reminds me of another cover. I can't put my finger on it right now what it reminds me of. Or maybe just the fact that this character reminds me of Machine Man. But anyway, I don't know. <laughs> it was just one of those things. I kept looking at the cover and I was like, what does it remind me of? Um, so Spidey Fat also hooked me up with this gorgeous, uh, what is this? Magdalena. I don't know who did this cover, but whoever they are, that's pretty sick. I think this is a cover swipe as well. I can't put my finger on it. So, goes to show where I am right now with the comic books. I'm kind of losing it. <laughs> but this is the one he gave me that I was super, super, super stoked on. He gave me a Wonder Woman number 38. I don't know if this is necessarily a bloody variant or this is just a regular cover. Because the uh, barcode indicates just a regular cover, but it is signed by David Finch, which I just I just can't believe it. <laughs> I, just, I was like, dude, thank you so much. This is a gorgeous cover. Uh, it doesn't really go for that much, but I mean, I'm gonna definitely treasure this. But it is a really nice cover. Like I, I've seen this in other people's videos before, just uh, haven't found it out in a while. So I cannot thank Spidey Fan enough. Thank you so much. All right. So, of course, I was there. Had to pick up some books. I didn't really pick up much. A lot of these were actually trades. So, I actually did more trades on my half. And I just bought a couple of books. I found this uh, Swamp Tank 50. This is the uh, first appearance of Justice League Dark. Uh, I think I got this for five bucks. There's like a crease over here. But I was willing to take it for five bucks. Um, my boy Master X Splinter shows this off quite often, so definitely happy to have this one. Super stoked on that, especially for five bucks. Um, this is another one I got for really cheap, and it there's you have to buy it cheap. This is actually the first periods of quote unquote Lady Venom. This is a uh, Amazing Spider-Man 375. So there's already been some talks about. I don't know if it's actually confirmed, but it's just talks. But um, basically. Uh, Lady Venom being in the Venom movie. Uh, I think her name, I could be wrong, correct me if I am, Anne Wying. And so this is the first appearance of her. So this is a Spider Man 375. Of course, this is not where all the money's at. And this book, there's a bunch of them printed. So you could find a super high mint copy uh, for a decent price. I think the only one of these books that actually go for a pretty good money is like the printing error one. But, uh, of course, I didn't find it. So, yeah, really happy to have that one. I think the person who sold it to me was wondering why I was even buying it. But I was uh, like, oh, no, I just I like the shiny cover. Um, all right. So the only books that I actually spent a pretty decent amount of money of. And actually, I got a good price. So these next two books here, one, two, and these top loaders, I got it for like 100, I think. Yeah, 100 bucks. So I was pretty happy with that. So I got Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur number one. Uh, this is a variant. Uh, I'm not going to say it's hard to find. It's hard to find in a while, guarantee. Um, but you, you can find it on eBay. But people are asking for 100 Um Don't get it twisted. You can't see the back cover. The back cover has uh, some rubbing on it. So I, I, I think he gave me 50 bucks on this book, which I was, yeah, I was like, yeah, no problem. Especially because, you know, we, we got the this book and the next one for $100. And this is the next one right here. This uh, Michael Turner, Miss Marvel. Super happy to have both of those. Definitely was willing to pay a hundred bucks. No problem. Hands down, not a problem. Uh, I've been. See I actually, <laughs> it's kind of funny because, uh, like I said, me, Seeking Near Mints, and Spidey fan, we were all like basically in the same area, talking to each other. And where I put my short boxes down was next to this guy that I see him at the uh, cons all the time. And. Um, so, you know, we're just all talking, and I think Spidey Fan went off to grab some books. Um, and so I saw this book, and I, I saw the uh, the Devil Dinosaur. 
So I grabbed both of them and I was like, hey, you know, how much do you want for the book? And then I said, I'll give you a hundred. He was like, fine. And then Spidey fan comes back, I swear, like five minutes later. And he's all like, hey, where's the uh, Miss Marvel colored one? And he's all like, oh, that guy bought it already. <laughs> so yeah, sorry, Spidey fan. This is mine. <laughs> Maybe we could do a trade down the, way, down the road. But uh, yeah, great Michael Turner stuff, man. I was able to do another trade for this. My Omega Man 32. Uh, oh, Omega Man 32. Omega Man number three. It wasn't in as great condition as this one. This guy had like... The, the guy, there was one guy, all he brought to trade for was 12 copies of Omega Man 3, all in like 9.2 to like 9.8. And um, you could go ahead and pick whatever you wanted. So um, I just picked the most pristine copy and then he saw a book in my my short box that he wanted. It was basically just an even trade. Uh, but I was super stoked because I don't have this in this kind of condition. So yeah. Very happy to fair have the uh, Omega Men 3. First Spirits of Lobo. So, yeah, great book, man. Great book to have in the collection. Still cheap, so willing to pick it up. Uh, did another trade with a guy. He uh, he saw a couple of books that it was in my short box. I think he saw... Actually, no, he saw one book in my short box. So, he's all like... So, I took a look in his short box. I found uh, these next two books. And he also gave me 20 bucks. So, I found the Secret Avengers... Uh, what number is this? 23. Stupid. Uh, Secret Avengers 23. First appearance of uh, Agent Venom. And uh, I think this is like my second copy. Super stoked to have this one. Um, me and the guys, me and a lot of guys were talking. And we're like, you know, I guess Cholula mentioned it. He's all like, well, if they do a triple, like a Venom trilogy story, I mean, we wouldn't know where they would go with it. So maybe, maybe go with agent venom highly doubt it highly highly doubt it but uh, yeah yeah whatever still love having that book great cover too and i also found one of these tom mcfarland's coming down in august i know he's not signing a thank you book which is actually one of the books that somebody bought off of me at the um at that little trade show and so yeah i got one of these and like i said the guy also paid me 20 bucks tom mcfarland won't sign the thank you books but he'll sign this one so yeah, very happy to have that. Great copy too. Um, and then I had, I guess my biggest trade was for a book that I originally bought for $65. It's worth about, I would say anywhere between $120, $130, dollars somewhere around there. So a guy did a trade with me and this is what he gave me. He gave me Black Adam or Justice League America 23, the Shazam variant. Very clean copy beautiful beautiful cover came without a top loader suit which is pretty awesome another cable and x-force uh, simone bianchi um, number four variant i was actually kind of surprised he gave me this one as part of the deal so those two he also gave me this one which i actually have been wanting for a long time my wife would probably not want to see this cover but amazing spider-man 572 the uh variant for bullseye this is a crazy like crazy looking cover like i actually can't look at it for too long like i just yeah i think david finch did this one and uh yeah i'm gonna stop looking at that one all right and then he gave me this one this one um this bad boy is super hard to find mark brooks art this dark vader number one um uh, it's freaking th this thing goes for about 65 bucks 50 to 60 dollars so just this book alone it pretty much made my money on that one trade Plus, I got the other three books. But yeah, this sucker is super hard. Like, you can't find this thing. Uh, this is hard. Uh, you can find it on eBay, but people are asking, uh, you know, like I said, anywhere between 50 and 60 bucks. So, yeah, super glad to have this one in my collection. Um, if it looks all messed up, it's not. Just, you know, this is actually a white border right here. And then, of course, it has looks like it has all the spine, the spine ticks and the creases and stuff like that. But yeah very happy to have that one great book to have in my collection um all right i think the rest of these are purchases that i made either through ebay or probably at a store like semi stealth i was able to find another one of these guardians of nowhere um this is the gwenum um i don't know if you want to call this first appearance of gwenum but it could be uh it's definitely i know there's another book that people sought after but um it's got in nowhere number one variant it goes for roughly about 30 i spent less than that but 
I actually uh, gave one of these, I think, to Drissier, and so yeah, I just I just stumbled upon another one for a really good price. I figured, ah, why not? I'll just pick it up. Uh, what else did I find? This is a uh, just a cool variance, I guess, um, which is kind of funny. I've been really trying to focus on bronze and silver, but here I am just buying a bunch of variants. But ah, if you like the cover, can't say no. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows number five variant, just a really cool variant. Nothing, nothing crazy. Just the whole family just being venomized. Um, found this Ultimate End number one. It's uh, definitely has that Ultimate Spider-Man feel to it. This is uh, the uh, variant. I think this variant was done by Bagley. So I got this one for cheap. This is like a five dollar book. That was wit shipping. So maybe a dollar, two dollar book all day. But I just thought it was a great cover. Love the fire. Uh, love Miles Morales in this thing. It's just a really awesome, just a great cover. There's so much chaos going on. But yeah, just a great cover to have. So picked that one up. I actually went to Walmart uh, to pick up some balloons for my son. And I couldn't believe I actually found one of these. So I opened up the three pack. And um, this book was hot for <laughs> it's hot for a minute for a little while. But um, I'm pretty sure it's kind of calmed down. But it's still a pretty cool book to own. It is um, All New Wolverines number 19. Um, it is, I guess, the appearance of her new uniform. And uh, this was at Walmart. And from what I understand, um, when Walmart would open up the boxes uh, that these triple packs would come in, I think there was only one or two with the uh, the Wolverine on the front. And the rest would be all these other comic books. So... I mean, it's, I don't know how hard or what what the print run of these are, but I'm sure it's less than, you know, the other books. So, yeah, still a sought after book, mildly, mildly sought after book, especially if you can find it at Walmart. I think that's where people want to find it. They don't want to find it anywhere else but Walmart. Um, I hardly ever pick up new comic books, but see, uh, I think it was Master X was saying, hey, pick this one up. There's a first appearance of a new character in this. Um, I didn't read it because of the whole foil thing. Didn't want to damage it or bend it. But uh, the casting. And I think this is the uh, Jim Lee variant. So, Or just a standard Jim Lee cover. Not too sure. But yeah, this foil. It's beautiful. It's got that really shiny look to it. Love it. Old school 90s stuff. I uh, found this Edge of uh, Venomverse with uh, Gwenum, I guess. Is that what it is? Gwenum Pool? <laughs> I don't even know what it is um, but yeah found that one super stoked great cover uh, not too sure who did this one it's definitely got a Clayton Crane feel to it um, and that's probably who did it I could be wrong but it's definitely got a Clayton Crane feel to it especially this part here I remember when he did a whole bunch of carnage stuff and um, that arm feels definitely like how Clayton Crane would do it all right I found this Vampirella. I think this is number four. This is a virgin cover. Uh, I, You know what? Yeah, that's the wrong name for this cover as far as this one. A virgin. Because uh, probably not. <laughs> not, walking out, not walking out like that. But yeah, just a gorgeous Vampirella photo variant. And um, I actually really like this. Like I like, I mean, yeah, the girl looks good and all. But how the, the coloring in the background... It's actually really, really nice. But yeah, I mean, I, I obviously reasons why I like this book as well. She doesn't look that scary. I bet she has clean shaved armpits too. Um, found some Dave Stevens. Actually, I only found one. This uh, Alien Worlds. I think I picked this up for like two, three bucks. Just some cool Dave Stevens stuff. You know, just really great art. Um, this actually, I, I wish this was blown up and frame because this is actually a really sick cover like it's just a comic book so it kind of tampers down or dampers down the whole effect of it but i swear if this thing was like 11 by 17 and just fully colored and blown up this would be a sweet poster piece of art to really own man it's really sick um and i found that one at ideas so ideas is like the shop that i uh I go to and I find like these cheap books. It's like a used record, used bookstore. So here's some other things I found. Uh, Fantastic Four 265. I'm not sure if this is the first time that She-Hulk joins the team. But I think that's what it could be. Not 
uh, don't quote me on that but the reason I bought it more so is just because it's copper age and it was just like in really pristine condition found this Tomb Raider Alpha Omega number 50 again for like five bucks um, Adam Hughes Tomb Raider stuff just gorgeous 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 uh, found this set of Daredevil I found Daredevil 183 it's got a small color rub up there but other than that gorgeous gorgeous book the colors are bright uh, it's just like little color rubbing here and there and that's the only thing um, I've never owned this book and uh, I always wanted to own it and then um, I wanted to see exactly like how this story went down with the whole Punisher shooting the Daredevil because I've never read this story and um, I fucking spoiler alert it was just like a tranquilizer gun it wasn't even a real gun and um, so, so I was kind of it's kind of bummed me out I was like oh shit is that all it was the next cover Daredevil 184 and I also found Daredevil 185 I actually found all of those for all of these for like two bucks a piece so could not let it go especially in the condition that this gentleman keeps his books in and um, not really iconic covers but people as soon as they see these they know what they are so yeah I found it for two dollars a piece couldn't let it go all right um, last two books so this book I was searching for for a while to get a really good price on really really happy and this one I got to give credit to um, people like games and uh, aim high I think they were trying to um, they were telling me about this and um, I know strange X place feels the same way so I showed the first appearance of quasar but this one right here super happy to have this is Captain America 217 so this is the first appearance of Marvel man who later becomes quasar so if you actually want the first appearance um, there's a Hulk book I think it's uh, shucks I forgot the number I want to say 314 or something I, I you know what the, don't do it. look at my last haul you, you'll see which book I'm talking about but um, this is Captain America 217 first appearance of Marvel man this is the book you want if you want to speculate on Quasar in, in any way shape or form this is the book to have right here and I found this really nice copy uh, at a really good price so super super happy to have this and this last book basically goes against <laughs> it kind of goes against what I tell people but doesn't isn't that funny like how that works out sometimes um, so I don't like to buy uh, villain books unless the villains are like super iconic iconic villains but I don't know I just picked it up and I, I'm not even too sure why I picked it up but this is the uh, origin of uh, Odin this is a Jack Kirby first appearance of Surtur I think that's how you pronounce it so this is journey into mystery uh, 97 uh, first appearance of Surtur so supposedly <clears throat> sorry another villain in the Thor Ragnarok movie that's coming up and um, I think that was given away from Funko Pops so Funko Pops did like this whole Ragnarok line and um, you know if you look at any of the um, trailers and stuff they didn't show anything about Surtur they focused mostly on like Hela and everything but I guess Funko Pop released their line and then they had a Surtur in it so this is actually the first appearance of Surtur uh, like I said I don't usually try to chase these books but I guess for some reason I bought this one so I'm like ah whatever it's already done but Jack Kirby um, Silver Age decent copy maybe a 4.0 at best but really glad to have it um, what else so that's pretty much about it that's all the books um, there's some great contests going on definitely want to participate in those in the community um, and yeah it's pretty much about it <laughs> I don't think there's all right sorry about that we just got cut off I got a phone call that just like cut the whole thing off all right anyway that's pretty much the video um, just want to say thank you to all my subscribers I don't think I've said that in a while I was watching one of uh, Biggie's uh, video I think his latest one and then um, he was saying thank you to his subscribers and I'm like shit man that's right <laughs> I haven't done that and I feel super bad too so I'm gonna follow in Biggie's way um, to all my subscribers thank you for watching super appreciated um, 
cannot believe i think i'm almost at like 900 it's kind of crazy so um but yeah just thank you hope you enjoyed the haul sorry it was super long but um yeah that's pretty much about it all right shoots and mahalos